Hi everyone, it's Lolly. I wanted to share with you my um, my new planner. I have always used planners for as long as I can remember in my adult life, and I have always always evolving in my planner use. I uh, still have a Fodori that I really like, and I use it more of a journal now. And um, <clears throat> I had been thinking about get, and I have one other binder that's a disc binder system. I really like disc binder systems, and um, this one is the 365, also called Create 365, also called the Happy Planner, and also called Mambi, which stands for Me and My Big Ideas. And they're the company that makes these. And Michaels, I wasn't planning on getting another planner just yet, but then Michaels had a, a clearance on these because in the mid-year in 2015, Mambi came out with an 18-month version of this. So it covered the last six months of December, uh, excuse me, of 2015 plus all of 2016. And since 2015 was coming to a close um, and the first, you know, six months of it were um, expired, they clearanced this out for $13. So I had looked at them. They have several different designs, each a uh, different cover with different colored discs. And I decided to go ahead and get it. This one says Every Day is a Gift. It has the uh, gold discs with the heart cut out. Really like that. Very cute. <laughs> May attach a charm in this eventually. I'm not sure at this point. Um, and since it's gold, I had this uh, pencil holder that I had made for my other planner. It is silver. I think I'm going to make a gold one because I, I do have the ability to do that. So I have a gold clip. It's just a binder clip with elastic glued around it. And it's nice because you can put it on any binder and keep moving it from one planner to the other if you want. So I do use pencil more than pen. I'm just going to show you my quick layout of what I have so far in here. Um, this is a, a pocket that I had made. Let's see if I can get this all on the camera here. I made this pocket so that I would have the ability to put some stickers in there. This is just a church bulletin so I can keep up with what's going on now. And I did put the whole year calendar on here because I didn't see that there was anything like that in, in the planner itself. card that someone gave me says, I love right now. But I love, I do have a punch um, to punch this type of hole, and I'll explain that later. And... Um, there what when I took those pages out I was going to lose this page which is basically the overview of January I was going to lose it because it was on the end of December so I just used one of the other sheets and glued them together because I like this it says may you have 12 months of happy, happiness 52 weeks of fun 365 days of success eight you know etc and how many hours of good health etc uh, I stuck a card in there that someone had given me because I like that. This is just a verse, uh, actually Psalm 27, that I printed out because I want to be meditating on that this year. January, and I figured I don't have the time or the energy to decorate every week. I'm just going to lightly decorate my month. I don't want to invest that much time on doing each week spread because, you know, I'm not going to save this. And it's a lot of time and expense, like I said. So I'm just going to lightly decorate each month's spread. I um, I do and I'll want all my stickers to be flat because when I'm writing on the other side, I don't want it bumpy. I did add another little card here. It just has one of my schedules on the back. And today I made this, and it's just um, it's the tabbed. Let's see if I can show you. It's clear tabbed divider bookmark, basically. And I just took a sheet of cardstock, decorated that. My word for um, this year is going to be courage, which you will, I'm going to put on every month. And I punched the holes in it. This slide I left undecorated because I'm going to use this for my post-it notes. Um, one of my um, frustrations, I guess you could say, with this calendar, with this planner, is that the monthly spreads are Sunday through Saturday, but the weekly spreads are Monday through Sunday. It just it throws me off. You know, I, whichever way you pick, stick with it throughout the whole planner, and then it's easier for me, <laughs> for me to remember because now I always think Saturday is at the end because Saturday is at the end here. So it's going to take me a while to constantly get readjusted to that. So you can see anyway, they give you tab dividers for each month. And this February. And there's a little decorative page here. Each month has its own decoration. February, March, in like a lion, April, oops, there's May, 
June. It's pretty. July, August, September, October, November, and December. That's it in a nutshell there. So the um, the hole punch. Now I already have a punch that does these holes. You can see what those holes look like. Okay. And it's you can do this um, manually if you don't have one of these special punches. You can just use a regular hole punch circles and then cut a slit right there. Um, the other ones that make punches like this are Levenger with their Circa brand. And that's what I have because several years ago I, I was given gift certificates to Levenger and I used them on the hole punch. Staples Company sells their brand which is called Arc. And then Rollabind is another one that sells discs and some accessories. I don't know that they actually have a hole punch. There is a slight bit difference between each company. And the Levenger is the most universal to my knowledge because these circle parts here, the half circles, are larger, whereas the Staples Arc ones are a little narrower. And so not all discs, um, it, uh, what do I want to say? fit in there as well. So if you have one with a smaller hole and you're flipping pages, you're really having to force those over. Whereas with the Levenger Circa Punch, it's very, you can see how floppy and movable this is. Okay. Now you'll also notice, um, can you see the white? Bring this up. I have punched these pages myself and there's a white right next to it because the papers, here's a better way to show you here, I think. The papers that come with this planner have been punched on a different punch, their own punch. And what it does, it makes this little crack here longer so that the page sets further into the end there. Now, if I put this on, you can see the gap. Ah, every time I bring this up, it rotates. You can see in the gap between the, this, the end of the black card and the white paper. That's because the Levenger punch does not punch it as deep into the paper. It's not a problem at all, but just letting you know that that does that. So, like I said, it's not an issue. The big thing for me is making sure that the actual hole is of a good size so that they go around the disc better. So, that's it, what I have for now. And just wanted to share with you my process with this because I have shared on other planners that I have going on. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that was helpful to you. Until next time, this is Lolly saying goodbye.